The curious tilt of our sun is traced to an undiscovered planet. Well, uh, we have, we're talking about at the edge of our solar system, also at the Kuiper belt, things that uh, are perturbing the orbits of the planets of the exterior of our solar system, as you can see here. Some claim it's planet X, planet 9, whatever you want to call it. But we've also had a tilt to our sun of 6 degrees, which is pretty huge. California Institute of Technology, we know them. That's where Brown and Batigan are, and uh, they've claimed that the perturbations of the orbits of the outer planets are due to something they call Planet 9. They didn't want to call Planet X or Planet 10, they, so they called it Planet 9. Uh, what you want to call it, it doesn't matter. It's, um, it could be something that the Sumerian legends were talking about that comes around every few thousand years, namely Nibiru. But let's see what uh, California Institute of Technology on phys.org says about this curious tilt, the curious tilt of our sun and what could be causing it. Planet 9, the undiscovered planet at the edge of our solar system that was predicted by the work of Caltech's Constantine Batigan and his professor Mike Brown, January 2016, appears to be responsible for the unusual tilt of our sun, according to their study. The large and distant planet may be adding a wobble to our whole solar system, giving the appearance that the sun is tilted slightly. I mean, that is huge news. Huge news. Because planet 9, they say, is so massive and has an orbit tilted compared to other planets, the solar system has no choice but to slowly twist out of alignment. This is what Elizabeth Bailey, a graduate student at Caltech and lead author of the study, announced during the discovery of this. This is huge, huge stuff. This is unbelievable. Now, all of the planets orbit in a flat plane, as we know, with respect to the Sun, roughly within a couple of degrees of each other. And that plane, however, rotates at a six-degree tilt with respect to the Sun, given the appearance that the Sun itself is cocked off at an angle. Until now, no one had found a compelling explanation to produce such an effect. Quote, it's such a deep-rooted mystery and so difficult to explain that people just don't talk about it. Quote. This is what Brown, the Richard and Barbara Rosenberg Professor of Planetary Astronomy says. People don't talk about it because it's such a mysterious thing happening. Of course, because this is big. If you've got something out there perturbing everything, even the sun. I mean, this, <laughs> what are you going to do to protect yourself, God forbid? What will you do? That's why they just, you know, sweep it under the rug, you know, put your head in the, in the sand as if you're an ostrich and forget about it. Now, Brown and Batigan discovered evidence that the sun is orbited by an as yet unseen planet that is a whopping 10 times the size of Earth with an orbit that is about 20 times farther from the sun on average than Neptune's and it changes the physics. Planet 9, as they call it, based on their calculations, appears to orbit at about 30 degrees off from other planets' orbital plane in the process, influencing the orbit of a large population of objects in the Kuiper Belt, which is how Brown and Batigan came to suspect a planet exists there in the first place. Quote, it continues to amaze us. Every time we look carefully, we continue to find that Planet 9 explains something about the solar system that had long been a mystery, unquote. Batigan said. He's the assistant professor of planetary science. Their findings have been accepted for publication in uh, the Astrophysical Journal and uh, are, uh, were presented October 18 at the American Astronomical so uh, Society's Division for Planetary Science Annual Meeting, which was held in Pasadena. The tilt of the solar system's orbital plane has long befuddled astronomers because of the way the planets formed, as a spinning cloud slowly collapsing first into a disk and then into objects orbiting a central star. And that's how the plane was formed. 
So now all of a sudden you have something coming in at us and all this has got it going out of whack. That's not good. Now planets nine angular momentum is having an outsized impact on uh, the solar system, our solar system of course, based on its location and size. The planet's angular momentum equals the mass of an object multiplied by its distance from the sun and corresponds with the force that the planet exerts on the overall system's spin. Because the other planets in the solar system all exist along a flat plane, their angular momentum works to keep the whole disk spinning smoothly. Planet 9's unusual orbit, however, adds a multi-billion year wobble to that system. Mathematically, given the hypothesized size and distance of planet 9, a 6 degree tilt fits perfectly, Brown says. The next question then is, how did planet 9 achieve its unusual orbit? Though that remains to be determined, Batagir suggests that the planet may have been ejected from the neighborhood of the gas giants by Jupiter, or perhaps may have been influenced by the gravitational pull of other stellar bodies in the solar system's extreme past. For now, Brown and Batigan continue to work with colleagues throughout the world to search the night sky for signs of Planet Nine along the path they predicted in uh, January. And that search, Brown says, may take three years or more. Well, now they've uh, one of the recent articles I read. We made a video on this. Uh, they claimed Brown and Batigan that they will be going to Hawaii. I think there's a telescope near Mauna Loa in Hawaii and uh, they have clear skies there and they will be using that telescope to take infrared uh, images of the sky uh, where they believe they think that this uh, huge planet ten times the size of Earth will be lurking. And uh, it's sort of surprising to me, I think to all of us that up to now, they did not take infrared pictures of the sky because that would show a lot of things so using that telescope they're there now I think they should be there by by now so we should be having um, updates on this quite soon from them that would be amazing what they come up with uh, because they say this is just a matter of time before they find it so I'll leave a link below for you for this on fizz.org If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.